Costco, Mr. Costco 21. I enjoyed this this past week, man, you going back and forth in a handful of videos. And I'm going to explain myself to you once and for all. Mr. Costco, when you're uh, in a YouTube uh, battle, so to speak, this is the words I use. Sorry about that. Didn't want to, could have, should have called it a debate. But uh, this is YouTube, so the debate turns into a battle. And when you make a video like I'm, you know, tired of hearing black people complain, it opened up the door for me not to listen to what you said. Only one of your videos I cut short, and then I did a video, and uh, then I went back and watched your video to see how wrong I was. So when you're in a YouTube battle or YouTube war, uh, you have to attack. Now, when you first came with your first video, you were, you were like green. To me, that you were a new person on YouTube, and you were putting your foot in the water. And what I did was grabbed your foot. And once I grabbed your foot, I start picking points out of your video. So I didn't pick the good points, so you had to make another video. Then I picked a couple different points. Then you made another video. When someone draws you into a YouTube battle, you, you gotta be savvy. Now, what I did in our battle was simple. I touched on the points that you rub people wrong with, and I didn't touch on anything else. So now I'm going to touch on anything else, because this is the final video, because you already said this is the final video. I'll let you call the shot. I'll let you put the last shot out there, and I'll let you say this is it. You don't ever do that in a YouTube battle. You either say I'm tired of this fool. It just shut it down. You don't never say this is the last video. Because then, you know, somebody else would start to talk about your hairdo or somebody would say something negative. Notice when I said what I said in those videos, I didn't point at nobody. I didn't direct nothing at nobody. I was all over the map. Because every video I did in this little series of videos we did, I touched somebody. In every video you did, if you look at the comments at the bottom of the videos, that is the essence of YouTube. That's what some people on YouTube live for. They live for those racial battles where you're saying something about black people and you're asking it in a way that would make white people think, well, he's just asking a question. But you say it in a way that would piss black people off. Black people complaining, what? So what I do when I'm battling somebody is I pick and I choose my punches. Then that person comes back with a video. Man, you didn't even listen to my video. And then I pick and choose more punches. See, never let nobody throw you off your game, young man. And if you're learning, if you're really curious to know something about black people that you don't know, you took the first step and you asked the question. That's all I ever ask of anybody of any race. If there is truly going to be peace between people, you have to ask the questions. And you know, and you ask the question. Um, no, or you pretty much said you're tired of some black people. Because that's what you hear. You hear people complaining. And I was trying to say is, from your perspective, I can understand you. But from my perspective, you couldn't understand me. And that, my friend, is where everybody around sees you lost. Time after time, you changed to conform. Oh, well, I guess you're right. Well, I, I, you began to understand. See, if I was you, this is exactly what I would have done. Why is it that when black people get on YouTube, all they do is complain about their problems and you never hear them complain about, you know, things that are actually affecting their everyday life. You don't hear them complaining about the, the, the economy in a way that would make sense. But you'd rather sit on YouTube and talk about black women 
and these are your women. You know, I, I would have made some statement like that because half the young black men on YouTube and black women on YouTube argue and battle each other. By asking a question like that, you would have pissed off so many black people that they would have to, we don't argue. Oh man, women do this. You would have got so many different perspectives other than I'm tired of black people complaining. Now there's a guy on YouTube that would be perfect for you to watch because he's one of those people that um, asks the question right and then he asks the question wrong sometimes. His name is... I think it's Sir says fuck a lot or something. Sir fuck a lot or say fuck a lot or whatever. And he's a young white man. And he be talking some crazy, weird, off the cuff shit. And if you're an open minded black person, you can see what he's saying. But it will still offend you. But if you know what you're listening at, then you would understand why he's saying what he's saying. You fit along those categories, man. But. I get a different feeling when I watch your video. I, I feel like you're curious and you really want to know something about another group of people that you have to live with in your society. And not too many people have that, uh, I'm not going to call you a boy, that boyish curiosity in their voice. You're not a bad person because I can hear it in your voice. I don't believe that you're racist, but there are some tendencies that an average person other than myself would think otherwise. In other words, some people may misconstrue everything that you say and look at it slanted. I attach you on that level. People try to undermine you. And if you knew at these videos, you don't want to get baited. See, the little battle between me and you started right as a major battle began me and somebody else and people are saying I'm wasting too much time with you but I'm not I would rather debate the young white guy who is curious about black people than to debate and battle a black man whose only only reason for battle is to put himself back in the limelight where he fell off so Costco 21 it has been a great battle between me and you. Hopefully you've learned something because I've learned something. Because out of all the battles that I've had on this YouTube thing, you're the first person that told me, Man, stay on subject! But that tactic knocked you off your subject. That tactic changed the way you, you did these videos. I hope I didn't spoil your YouTube experience. Because I thought it would be fun for you to see how some people are. Some people are so relentless in their dissing and, and, and attacks that what happened between me and you was nothing. These people will contact people on your friends list. They will put bad comments on every person who's ever said anything positive about you. That is the essence of YouTube, young man. And if you ain't ready for somebody getting deep all up in you, for no reason at all, uh, no reason, then you need to leave YouTube. But if you're ready for what's really going to happen on YouTube, because you got your feet wet, there's going to be many more debates for you. But you just got to ask the right question. And I'm glad that uh, you put your video camera on and you asked the question, or you spoke on something that was making you think differently or it was it was something that you had to do that's the essence of YouTube also is when something is in you and you have to get this out this may be the only place in the last place that you will ever have to do this so if you got any more questions of black people man flat out ask this might be the last time in history that white people and black people will be able to ask the question, why, what, why is this? Thank you, my friend, or young man, because I know you don't give a fuck and I don't either. But remember this, I'm sorry to tell you for the last time, you've been tubed.